welcome back. It's been a little bit. I haven't done a video for a while, just been busy. But we got a new addition to the channel, and that is, in this case, a 2022 Chevy Suburban LT. Bought this for my wife a few days ago. Paid a lot of money for it, but that's not what the video is about. Loved most of it, so we searched far and wide to find this car. Ended up getting it about 100 miles away from where we live, somewhere in the hills of Pennsylvania, but virtually brand new, 5,000 miles on it. New to us anyway. And I love most of it, but it's for her. I can't help but put my own personal little touch on it. So what we have on here that I don't like are these tail lights. So everything else in this truck is LED, everything. So why not make the tail lights LED? Well, I think they're partly LED, maybe, like maybe right here, but actually I think that just might be trim. So everything else is incandescent. The stop light, the turn signal, and the reverse light. And the reverse lights suck. They don't cast any light when you're backing up. Everything else is LED. It thinks it has a 360 degree camera. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's fully loaded. I don't understand. But we're gonna change that today. This is my first bow tie. I've never owned a Chevy. I've owned everything else now. We don't have our Expedition anymore. That was a Ford. Still got my Ram. So that's a Dodge. Well, okay, it's a Ram. Chrysler, Stellantis, whatever. Point is, this is cheap and easy to fix. So, let's get to it. So here's my understanding of how these things come out. These little plastic things right here, you just pop them out, pull them out, and that's where the two bolts are that hold on this. Of course, the back side of the housing here, there are two pins that go into the rear quarter panel, and you just pop this thing out, take, disconnect the wiring harness, and we should be good. Well, we'll find out. So, I got my pry tool so we don't end up boogering anything up. And we'll just go underneath here. Well, maybe not. There we go. There's one. Pop. Pop. Yeah. Three clips. A push and a metal one. And then I guess we gotta kinda try and get this one out. I don't know how that's going to go. Wow, look at that. Man. I don't even think I broke it. That's easy. That's just a friction fit, and there's two little plastic things on the back of here. And then it looks to be like we got a really little Torx bit. However, or a Torx head. However, getting to this one back here is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Because it's in there pretty deep behind the lift cylinder. Well, let's find out. Uh, so this is a T10. I think we're going to go try a T15. T15. To everything, turn, turn, turn. Sorry, I sing when I work. All right, let's try and get this one back here. Well, got it. Turn, turn, turn. Drop the driver so we can make a mess of things. That'll come right out. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right. Let's see. I'll tell you what we're going to do. My hands here. back of it. We could just leave it on here, but we're going to pop these off. One, two. I don't even know what this light is. These have a safety clip on it. Definitely a twist. This thing's not that old. I don't know why it's so damn hard to get out. Two. And three. 
and gently, there are our bulbs. So this one up here, so apparently this is lit up. Let's see, Let just twist out. Provided I don't break it. Yeah. Ah, so it is LED. It's got the wires on it and it's, I forget what type of connector this is. I don't really care. It's a standard bulb type connector, but look at that. There's wiring for the LED. That looks like the running lights, or if you will, the, I guess the driving lights are indeed LED, which would be that part right there. But the rest is not. So let's see if we can get organized. So this is what we're going to be using today. Last fit. Last fit. I don't know. Uh, everybody on the internet seems to be using these things. So I figured why not? Maybe we will too. I'll give them a try. They weren't eh, crazy expensive. These were the most expensive one. And this is for the turn signals. So if you know anything about LED lighting on cars, on turn signals, but most of the time the CAN bus system decides to go haywire when it doesn't sense the higher voltage draws of, I should say wattage draws maybe? Yeah, probably wattage draws of these bulbs because they are more energy efficient and don't take as much wattage to run as a standard incandescent bulb and it thinks there's a turn signal out. So that's when you get the hyper blink and it goes, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, crazy, bat ass crazy. Uh, so these actually already have a resistor built into them. Usually you would have to tap them into the wiring, get one of those heat sink style resistors, which I've done it on multiple vehicles. A couple of America Expedition was that way. My old Nissan Titan, God rest its soul, was that way. But these are supposed to take care of that. That's all built in and designed to work with that. So we'll see. These were about 40 bucks on Amazon, a little bit cheaper because I got a small discount on them for a coupon. Otherwise, these are just their standard bulbs and white for the reverse lights and red for the brake light, stop light. Yeah. Anyway, they are by this standard a 7443 bulb. Same as the 7440, they're all cross-referenceable, but they will fit this. Remember, when you put these things in, test it out first before you put everything back together just to make sure everything works, because sometimes you gotta flip that bulb around because they are sometimes uh, negative to positive sensitive, because it'll go in either way most of the time, depending on the bulb style. So do yourself a favor, figure that out before you put everything back together and then have to pull it apart again. So I'm gonna pop these in and we're gonna see where we go from here. I think this is the red ones. Yeah, that's the red ones. One. Ah, ah, ah. And just pull. And yeah, nothing really to it. Yep. Nope. So this one I can actually see. If I don't, if I put it in this one, it'll work either way. So, we'll try that first. Then, we'll go for our turn signal. And it says right there, can bus ready. We'll see. We'll see. And, huh, why ain't this a bitch? Pardon my standard language. It looks as though I was given the wrong information on the type of bulb that this uses. Don't ever trust the internet. So I didn't pull this apart. I just went to uh, a couple different manufacturers' websites. And this is definitely a 912. I can look at it and see it there. I remember these bulbs. In fact, I might have some. I'm gonna have to look. But that ain't gonna work for this, all right? This is the same type as the rest of the bulbs, and so it looks like I'm kind of SOL on that. So I'm going to go through my bulb stash and see if I have any 912s, otherwise it looks like I'm either going to have to order some more, which is probable, or uh, go out today and see if I can find them locally. Either way, I don't know, so we'll see. No such luck. So I don't have any 912s that are not incandescent because I've replaced them all in the cars that I've had. So we'll have to take it apart again at a later date after I get the right balls. But, well, let's see what happens when we flash it. Oh, 
Well, that one works. Put this one around. Well, let's see. I'm going to go hit the brake. Well, not bad, they work. I didn't see any warning signs. I did get a brake light sign, uh, or I should say a brake light warning when I started the vehicle, and I'm guessing it's because I pulled it out and put it back in. I don't know, we'll see if that keeps going. Uh, that might be the CAN bus system because it's not sensing a lot of voltage, but that's usually not the issue. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to keep an eye on it, but I do need to order some new bulbs uh, since I didn't have any more. Uh, and we'll see if they last. If not, I mean, I kept the incandescent ones, so we'll pop them back in there if we have to. And where do we go from here? Well, there's more stuff coming for this truck over the next, uh, I don't know, six months or so. So we're gonna do a chrome delete on it, or at least a partial chrome delete with wrap and make a couple kits for the front grill to, to chrome delete that. So we'll see. And probably new wheels and who knows, not too much crazy. I do need to get the windows tinted uh, on the front, just I do that on all my vehicles. So nothing crazy, it's my wife's daily driver and it's for the kids, but we'll see. Anyway, I gotta get going. It's a Saturday and it's time for soccer practice almost. So not for me, I'm too old. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Well, folks, there it is. I was wrong. Now, this is a week later. Um, it happened immediately. I just didn't have time to film it. So the brake lamps, there's nothing wrong with them. They work, but they will throw this error code, I guess, on the uh, gauge display when you start it up. If you just hit one of the buttons, it goes away, and it's, it's not really an issue. But I'm not going to deal with it. I'm guessing it's a CAN bus issue. Um, the turn signals work just fine. So I'm going to pull those out, send them back, the uh, brake, light bulbs, whatever, and uh, kind of run away with my tail between my legs for right now. So end result, turn signals work just fine, hadn't had any issues with them all week, uh, but the brake lights, not so much. So we're going to back up, punt, and wait for a different option to come out on the market. If you guys know of any, let me know, and I will try them out, um, but the ones I bought don't work. So anyway, now it really is the end of the video. You stay classy, and I'll see you later.